Hello everyone. Today we will be going through very difficult and very important type of question which is algebraic fractions. You know, uh, if you are targeting for A, A star in IGCSC or GCSC exam or even AS level, these type of questions are there. So you need to practice these type of questions. And this these type of questions you can see numerator and denominator both are having quadratic uh, terms. So we need to um, practice factorization for these type of questions. So first of all, we can take this uh, quadratic uh, expression, so which is x square minus eight x plus twelve, and we need to factorize this. For factorization of uh, this one. Uh, we know we can factorize by formula or whatever you want, but uh, I'm using calculator. You can use calculator, but the thing is that you need to show the complete working so that there should be no deduction of marks. So uh, I'll show you how to help, take help from the calculator. So this will be, uh, first of all, this will be mode 5, 3. You will reach here and coefficient of x square is 1. And coefficient of x is minus 8 and the constant value is 12. And after feeding this one, it, it's giving x1 value is 6 and second value is 2. So 6 and 2, these are the two values. We will change sign of the values and utilize these two values. And this will be x minus 2 and x minus 6. This will be the uh, factors. And now we can write the intermediate step and this will be x which is this one multiplied by this whole term which is x minus 6 and then after this we will be writing this minus 2 into this one x minus 6 and this will be the complete factorization and these two are the factors which we will be utilizing. Now we can uh, factorize the second term of the uh, numerator which is x square minus 16 which we can write as uh, x square and minus 4 square and now we can use the formula and formula you know is a square minus b square a square minus b square is equal to a plus b into a minus b this will be the formula which we will be using and we will be writing this as x plus 4 and x minus 4. This will be the factorization of uh, uh, this x square minus 16. Now we can factorize this denominator, uh, first term of denominator, so which is x square minus 36. And this will be can be written as x square minus 6 square, square of uh, 6 will be 36. And again, applying this formula, we can write it as x plus 6 and x minus 6. And this will be the factorization of this term. Now we can factorize this uh, x square minus uh, 4 also. So this will be x square minus 4. We can uh, rewrite it as x square minus 2 square and again applying the same uh, formula which we have written here we can rewrite it as x plus 2 and x minus 2 so this will be the factorization now we can use these factorizations and write the next step and this will be uh, factorization first factorization will be this one x minus 2 and x minus 6 so we can write x minus 2 and x minus 6 and the second factorization of x square minus 16 is this one which we can write as x plus 4 and x minus 4 now factorization of denominator is x square minus uh, 36 is this one which is x plus 6 and x minus 6 x plus 6 and x minus 6 and further the last factorization we can put here x plus 2 into x minus 2. Now after this we have to cancel so x minus 2 can be cancelled with x minus 2 and x minus 6 can be cancelled with x minus 6 and further uh, 
nothing can be cancelled this is all which we can cancel now next step will be remaining factors we can write x plus 4 and x minus 4 and the denominator will be x plus 6 into x plus 2 and this will be our final answer because we cannot simplify for the rest so you have seen basically this is uh, the the factorization of first segment which is basically this one which we have factorized and factorization is very important uh, in these type of questions and the second factorization is this one which we have factorized over here and this is the and third factorization is x square minus 36 which is this one so separately we factorized this is factorization of this one so properly you need to practice factorization algebraic fractions are mainly coming in exam and they are giving these type of difficult questions which you which are, uh, you need to factorize first so your question will be basing on factorization and then you only you can reach the answer you can see these are only one and two steps only two steps of the question main question but you need to do this whole factorization part to reach to this answer so you need to practice factorization also thank you very much for watching don't forget to subscribe the channel and introduce this channel to your respective teachers and recommend this channel to your friends and class fellows thank you very much for watching take care bye